Yeah, yeah, that was a while. So this is Seven Mile. Over here you used to have Kmart. You can see that like all the other Kmarts. That's yeah. uh, here's the guy that's problems. He used to go up there all the time. Everybody went there to, when we were kids to buy those parkas. Yeah. Those blue parkas with the fur. Some of them moon boots. And the moon boots. And the fur would always it's, get in your mouth. The snowmobile like, boots too. Remember the ones? Yep. Yeah. With a little buckle on. Yeah. Hit the blue light special. If you go down like six mile, seven mile, eight mile, you'll see old school Livonia houses. Oh, yeah. Back when they were cotton cabins or farms, they're still around. Look, barn. Right. None of this was here. Joe's has really expanded Joe's produce, man. They're good, though. Yeah, that's really good. They've got really good orange juice. Now, here's Livonia Mall. Livonia, in many ways, when it started, was a mauled city. You had Livonia Mall over here, and this was anchored by Sears, now it's a Walmart anchor. You had the old Wonderland Mall south of us. Now you got Laurel Park. You had a lot of malls in Livonia, a lot of strip malls, too. Yeah, they put an L.A. Fitness in here. That was, that was Jamie's on 7. Back in the day, it was oh, owned yeah. by Jamie Coe. Bobby Darren said Jamie Coe was his favorite singer. Now, Jamie's on 7 was cool because it had two levels with two different bands, and it was, it was a Livonia institution. So downstairs was the older people that were still much younger than us, right. like 30 and up, and they would listen to Jamie Coe, who was a local celebrity. A local celebrity. And, uh, and then the young people would be upstairs listening to Safari. Remember the band Safari? So if you, if you were young, you'd go upstairs, and if you couldn't meet a girl up there, you'd go, all right, got to go down to the basement. Down to the basement. And you'd meet the older women down there, and it had purple shag carpeting on the walls. Oh, I never stepped foot in there. Oh, you, got, you had a good time upstairs. <laughs> I never stepped foot in the building. I remember moving out to Livonia and Farmington being a dirt road. I don't remember Farmington being a dirt road. I do. I have different memories than you. They're coming back to me the older You're I get. You're in a different part of the car. Yeah, and I was in the back. Yeah. Back when you had the seats in the back of the station wagon that opened up. So you oh, could yeah. see each other. Yeah. No seat belts. Yeah, trial lawyer's dream. Oh, I yeah, have it. Parents moved out here. A lot of the people moved into Livonia. Livonia became the second largest city in Wayne County. It went over 100,000 people at one point. It's dipped under. But it may be heading back over 100,000 again. So we moved here in 1972. I was like seven, you were six. Our parents were Detroit public school teachers. We were over by the old Renaissance High. And it was part of the emigration from the city at the time. So we'd come down six mile, because there, no, there was no I-96. And so we would take this, and it took, took like forever. It took forever. It felt like it was taking forever. It was just a straight shot, though. Yeah, it was a straight shot. I remember when we came out, Mom said, we're moving to the country. Yeah. I was like, really? Really? OK. Huh. Now, this is where we're going to show you where two icons of Livonia used to be and no longer are. See, now Livonia was, was incorporated because Detroit Racecourse was here. Oh, that's right. Thoroughbred Racing. They wanted to incorporate because they had racetrack. Oh my gosh, I forgot all about that's that. That right. was a huge thing. And then, yeah, they just kept, then it changed into Ladbrook. The Brits bought it. And now it's a shopping complex. Yeah, it's a Millennium Park. But it used to be, you wanted to get your horse racing? This is where you went to go get yourself some horse racing. Yeah. Across from us, it was the old Clover Lane's bowling alley, man. It's gone, look, tearing it down now. There, there it is, dude, that sign. I that's know, that's a killer cool. sign, man. So, we're heading down. <laughs> you remember, it used to be called the Mai Kai Theater. It was one of those huge theaters that had a huge screen. Mm -hmm. Remember that? I saw Midway there in Sensor Round. In Sensor Round. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. And then they changed into the George Burns Theater. George Burns and they brought it. George Burns in to open it up. I don't know how they managed to do that. I remember Florence Henderson did a show there. Yeah, it was going to be like what the Fox is now. They're going to turn into a live entertainment venue. That's the George Burns Theater now. It's called Condominiums. There's Carwell Flores, Laura Toy. Laura Toy's on that forever. Council I worked President. there. I delivered flowers yeah, there. I did too, yeah. When I was a kid, one of my first jobs, I backed her delivery van into a post. Yeah, yeah. And she still talks to me. Yeah. 
There's the Haley's. I don't think. You, yeah, you can still they drive still, up, they man. They still have the drive. It's still everybody comes on way time. Yeah. Now, this is your complex. The district courts are off five mile. That's Livonia Senior Center. And here's Livonia City Hall up here on your left. But we used to ride our bikes through here when they were building it and skateboard. I don't remember what the one that, that was there before it looked like. It looked a lot like that. Okay. City Hall Annex, it looks a lot like that. They left yeah. that part on there. We didn't know it at the time, but basically we were moving into downtown, quote unquote, Livonia, where a lot of the, the police fire, uh, the city municipal offices were. Bates. Yeah, Bates. <laughs> Bates has got to be yeah. the center of Livonia. Because when we came, it was like the first rush. And we were at the tail end of it. There was like a thousand little league teams. Yeah, thousands of little league teams. There's a few baby boomers, but a large part of it was really Gen X kids. If you lived yeah. in the neighborhood next door, you might as well have been from a whole nother world. Those kids right. were so close knit, like the neighborhoods were all, it's like, wow. You're like, hey, you play on the, on the Astros. Oh, you're on the Phillies. Now this is the subdivision we grew up. We like to refer to it as Coventry Gardens or the subdivision behind base. Yeah, that's how, that's how people know it. Once the Generation X kids started growing up, it went from having too little school capacity to having too much. And so Lincoln Elementary School. That was where our school, that, that was one of the first schools to go down. That was my safety post yes, right yeah, there. safety post. Yeah. This is Lincoln Elementary School. <laughs> yeah. Not that anymore. Was, that was Mr. Gosman's class, that house right there. Yeah, he's in Arizona home, now. Home plate was right around that tree when we played yeah. baseball that yeah, way. Yeah, the school was all over here. You could hit it. And I remember the guy threatened to break our kneecaps when we hit the ball. Yeah, we were little kids, and he, yeah. said he, he looked like Burger King. Well, it was a great King. life lesson. He looked like Burger King, yeah, and he was Burger yeah, King. We called him Burger King for the rest of the, the next 40 years. Yeah, until we still do. Yeah. Still call him Burger King. I hope he's not around. It break our kneecaps. It break our kneecaps. I could probably use a replacement right now anyway. See, what they did in Livonia when, in the early 70s, and that is carried over now, is schools, parks all over Livonia. It's a quintessential bedroom community with all the conveniences you want, and Detroit's 20 minutes away if you want to go downtown. You would hear stories about in, like, especially the 2000s, I think even the New York Times was one, oh, Livonia's done, Livonia's done. Well, it's not going to happen, because the bedrocks, even though things have changed, you have the St. Mary's Mercy Hospital there. You have Madonna University of Schoolcraft now, which has four-year degrees. You have very stable housing property values now. And so people come in. You know, there's things have come and gone, but I think that one of the reasons that 48154, the zip code, which is hot again, like when we first moved here in the 70s, it's what's old is new, I think it's Bates bringing people. It's the heart of Lamonia. Bates remains the heart of Livonia. What it will do to your heart is grounds for angioplasty. Right? It's worth it. It's worth it, I think. <laughs>